right, here we go. Welcome. Again. We are back again. We say this every time we record this because we're inconsistent <laughs> and we're busy. And but we are back technically. So welcome, uh, welcome back to WSPN and lots to talk about on this episode. I know I've been prepping for this episode for weeks, and uh, and I think the proof is in the pudding here. Scotty, how are we doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Why don't we jump right into the market update? Let's do it. Market update, yeah. which everybody wants to know always. Um, current market conditions and yeah, what's going yeah. on out there. Scotty, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I'm working with a handful of buyers that have just dropped out of the market uh, to start the year. Uh, a couple for various reasons. Some have gotten actually priced out of the market. Uh, they couldn't find what they expected for their price range. Yeah. And other people are bowing out of the market because they're hoping, waiting, wishing, praying that the market slows down. And so you, you got two different people kind of um, making the same decision. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, what's your opinion there on people potentially bowing out of the market right now, hoping that it slows <clears throat> down and prices come down in the near future? Every January, we've seen the market rise and set its new, new pace for the season. Never have I seen it jump as quick as it did yeah. uh, this January. When I'm at listing appointments or I'm pricing out properties for buyers, we can't even use December numbers because they're, they're that irrelevant. So January on are the only numbers that we use and it has gone by the week, um, just rising, 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 rising. And yeah, I, I think it's rise. actually about $75,000 gain from January 1st to February 1st. Which is crazy. Yeah. And it's tough to understand that as a buyer when you, even if you've been in looking for a house since October, November, December, and then all of a sudden within two, three weeks, you're absolutely priced out of everything that uh, that you would find decent for for your price range. It's it's wild. I've yeah. never I've never seen like this on the listing side. Um, you know, listed a couple properties that at the same time would have both broken a record for the, the most amount of showings I've ever had on a listing. Um, Twenty five offers on each of them. Raised ranches, uh, setting records over there. I hate, let me pause here for a second. Records, like we should be setting records on every single listing because the market keeps rising to be its best. So I don't want to hear about records anymore. If I don't get a record, then that's when you should be hearing it's about it. It's a good okay? point, it's a good point. Okay, because if you don't get a record, then, then you got a problem. But did you bring up the record? I did bring up the record, but <laughs> they were both records, yeah, as so they should be. <laughs> But I'm not like posting record, right? No, that's. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. But wow. now you mentioned one interesting thing. On, I know in your Gray's Ranch on Festival there. Yeah. Uh, what percentage of buyers were from outside? Oh my God! It, it, it kept uh, it kept Chef on the phone all all weekend. I mean, uh, we we were fielding probably 60 calls a day from out of town on that. Um, absolute insanity. Um, <laughs> phones were just going nuts. I mean, I think 70 percent of my offers. Um, 60 or 70 percent of my offers were from out of town on both those properties and both properties did sell from out of town agents yeah so we're 70 percent um, these again these people are coming here everything looks cheap okay even yeah. though it's not cheap to us to them it looks cheap they have deep pockets they are working from home they have high income jobs in the GTA they're priced out They've looked at every other city. They come to Windsor. Windsor looks cheap relative to every other city. Yeah. That's why they're out competing the Windsor buyers. Yeah. Because Windsor buyers don't know what it's like in other cities, so we're having a hard time with this. And I, I empathize with that, hundred percent. But that is the reality of what we're experiencing right now. Yes, I what I wish it wasn't this way, but it is this way, and I don't see it changing anytime soon because there's nowhere else to go. Although everything we listed last week, five listings, um, you know, I did feel that the Toronto um agent there wasn't as many calls from them and we track every single toronto agent that reaches out to us to book a showing and we we track their email address their phone number so we can keep in contact with them as we go to offers and it definitely 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 dropped all those listings uh for the most part got to the finish line wasn't the sexiest way to get to the finish line not like like when you have 25 offers but the finish line is the finish line Right? <laughs> Nailed it. But that, that, that is true. There's always ebbs and flows in the market. That's why always, yeah. you always have to be in the game. You don't know which week the Toronto buyers just happen to not be there or which month or whatever the case is. So yeah. there's no predicting it. There's no telling which property is going to be a great deal in a yeah. competitive market. You got to be in the game. You got to stay in the game. Don't get, don't get scared out. Don't get frustrated out because yeah. it could cost you a lot of money. That's, that's my advice. Still a strong seller's market. Um, it's a great, great time to list right now. We are, we are in our spring market, as I've said before. Um, so if you are thinking of listing, uh, 
Welcome to your spring market. Not a lot um, of competition out there. Not a lot of competition, although a lot more competition than January. That's for sure. True, true. Okay, a lot yeah. more. There is more product out there, but still a heavy, heavy, unbalanced seller's market Definitely. by far. All right, we promised a couple of things. One, we promised a new intro come spring. It's cool. trending towards late spring right now because uh, spring's right around the corner. Because that intro that we have right now is absolute fire. Got it in there. We also promised a little refi breakdown. Yeah, yeah, let's get into um, this. And I think we promised it in probably three minutes or less, maybe even two minutes or less. So, cool. Scotty, give us the Coles notes here of, of yeah. refi, what it, what it does for you. I, I think most people don't understand how big of a tool it is and how easy it is, is to do. Yeah, it's a super hot top when the market's up. Uh, 30% a year. A lot of people have a lot of equity sitting in their house that is generally untapped. And we are in an environment, a lot of people don't understand this either, but we're in a negative real interest rate environment where let's say the interest rate on your mortgage is 2% and inflation is running at 7%. If you were to borrow that money, you're theoretically um, making 5% just on the spread alone. So you're actually generating negative interest rates. So the, the refinance tool is very powerful to take that money, access it at very low interest rates, oftentimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah. and then you go put it to work. It's costing you 2%. You're putting it into an investment property that's generally generating 25% compound annualized returns, yeah. like bare minimum. It's just uh, you're, you're gaining 23% on your money. You're hedging against inflation because as inflation runs higher, that pushes real estate values higher as well. So it's also hedging you against inflation. So a lot of people don't understand inflation. They don't understand that they're getting smoked right now. Yeah. Um, with money that's sitting in cash or un that's not being put to work, it's losing buying power uh, weekly. And <laughs> I always explain stuff. to people like you have to look at every every real estate deal that you jump into as not not what not the whole value of the deal, but what it costs to get into it. So to be able to pull two hundred thousand dollars equity, and trust me, if you've been in your house for five years, you have it there. Um, to pull two hundred thousand out, that's that's a million dollars in extra real estate that that opens up for Very you to point. buy, yeah. right? That's twenty percent down payments, two hundred grand. That will give you a million dollars in real estate that you can go out and uh, and be involved in and get that money get that money working. For yeah, you. and and when you're buying in the hot market, a lot of people are are afraid of a downturn. I don't see it on the horizon, but we're always looking for cash flowing properties to cover potential yeah. risk, right? So when you're putting that money to work, we know what to look for. We're not speculating. We're not buying property just on appreciation. We're buying cash flow. Yeah. So if you got some money sitting around, if you're looking to put it to work, obviously reach out to the team here. and We'd, we'd love to help you out on that front. Yeah, we would give you the uh, the shirt off our backs to, to be able to uh, be able to serve. Speaking of shirts, um, <laughs> <laughs> that, was my, that was my segue there. Nice I want to thank this week's sponsor, Save Your Clothing, Tim and Jade out in Nashville. We've got a really, really good friend of mine, Tim, who is, who's come up with some awesome creative ideas for our swag. You know us, we love the swag. I like to think we're the, we're the, the swag kings of, uh, of real estate. I don't is, think, is, I is, that, is that a sound bite or is that, uh, is, that, uh, is, is that, is that true? I mean. Is, There's no doubt about it. I mean, it look. might be second, second to none. <laughs> Okay, so we love it though. I mean, we, we live and yeah, breathe this stuff. So he's, he's got us uh, these hats we just got in yesterday. Of course, we've got, if you know us and you come through the office, you're not leaving without something. Got that Yeezus or Metallica vibe and then the old, a nice little collegiate, uh, collegiate vibe there. So Save Your Clothing, thank you so much. It's been an awesome, awesome collaboration. We are constantly working on stuff. And, uh, and this is why you want to be in the database. Right. This is why you want to be in the database. Yeah. This is a little database talk here. Database hit last week, and uh, this month's uh, this month's little item of value was a uh, car air freshener. And those are we're seeing them float around our social media. And uh, again, what a joy to be able to take care of uh, to take care of a database. Yeah. Uh, un great unbelievable. We got some St. Patrick stuff coming up as well. Uh, maybe some some lotto tickets, some other cool stuff. Absolutely. So we're going to be sending that out to people on our list. If you're looking to get on it, reach out to us. We'll add you on there. Absolutely. If you want to get into our database, shoot us a DM, name, phone number, address, and email address, and you are in the database, and we serve it like crazy. Speaking of, you are going to see dropping emails for Spitz. Spitz fans are back. We got season. Hey guys, Paul here again, and our next Spitz giveaways for Saturday, December 11th at 7:05 p.m. Of course, we've got tickets right behind the Spitfire's bench. Always a great experience. We're always dropping those to our database as well so it's a joy honestly scotty it's a it's a joy to be able to take care of of a, of a database and uh 
you know, that's our, our operation. Yeah, seeing people side. post the, the stuff on social media is super exciting as well. It's the best. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's the so, best. Some other big news. How about, uh, how about the new addition to the squad here? Oh, yeah, Coder. Coder came in, Coder came in hard came on that video. Hard, yeah. Whew, that video got, got lots of good feedback and uh, I didn't realize how many people like Coder. Hi, everybody. I am Coder. I'll be signing with the Always Working For You Real Estate Group. Thank you. Really? Yeah, I mean, uh, not, not that I, the, the, not that I didn't think they wouldn't, but... Uh, <laughs> you seem surprised. <laughs> Absolutely. So Dakota coming in hot here. Um, great, great, great person. Uh, great addition to us. He's going to be beneficial to everybody under this roof and uh, and just full of piss and vinegar and, uh, and ready, ready to rock. He's in the other room. Um, what else we got here? Oh, big, uh, toughest, toughest season, toughest season for, for realtors. So if you're watching this and, and, you, and you're a realtor, which you're probably not, um, well, maybe you are. Maybe we're trying to keep an eye on this. I don't know. Um, but if you are watching this, you know, it is frozen ground season. And it is absolutely, um, absolutely impossible Seriously. to put metal frame signs in. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I know I know the public out there really feels bad for us realtors these days. Um, you should because that was frozen ground season to so add to that. Dan actually took the kettle, heated up some water, brought it with him, poured it on the ground, went to hammer it in and squash mud all over himself. In the process, so it is. It is a tough time of the year for for us agents. Yeah. We've got a couple bent hammers. Yeah, so for the ground season, baby, hard hard times out there. Uh, no pun intended. And then uh, let's circle back here. We had we had some pretty good uh, pretty good feedback on our uh, Calgary dialogue that we had there, and and we got, we're actually doing some some deals in Calgary. Yeah, so we've got a pretty good connection with some developers out there, some duplex opportunities, pre-construction, so you're locking in today's prices in what I predict is gonna be a rapidly rising market. As Ontario continues to price people out, people are gonna have no choice but to go east or west. Calgary is obviously a big city, big tech hub. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna head out west uh, as they get priced out of Windsor. I do too, there's just, there's just way more to offer there than... Yeah, than, you've got than the here. mountains, you've got a city of over a million people. Yeah. Um, and again, the tech jobs are coming there. They're really changing the game on Calgary. So some cash flow opportunities, two units, pre-construction, 10% down, lock in today's prices, let the market do its thing. They're not gonna be built for a year and a half. Yep. Uh, they are going quickly. We had access to five two weeks ago. They were gone within two hours. Yep. Um, I bought one. I know you're looking to make a move as well. A couple of our clients purchased some. So if you're interested in that, give us a, a call, contact us, DM us, whatever. We'll try to get you on the list and uh you know it's getting tougher to find returns in ontario so we're always looking for opportunities wherever we can find them absolutely there it is guys wspn episode number whatever this says <laughs> all right have a good day <laughs>